Hi, welcome to Flukatronic, and welcome back to the Exploring the Clary Mini series. So today we're going to be looking at USB MIDI operations and what I've gotten to work so far. Uh, now, for, off the bat, I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed because my first attempt plugged the USB cord directly into my iPad and immediately got an error that it would uh, not support the, the Mini because it requ required too much power. So I was not able to power the Mini through the iPad itself. So that means if, I'm, if I want to use the USB MIDI option uh, with iOS, I'm going to have to come up with some kind of powered hub uh, solution. So we'll try that a little bit later, but today what we are going to look at is USB connected to uh, my laptop. So I've got a uh, yellow USB cable that came with uh, the Mini connected to my laptop. You know, we're, we're going to be looking at uh, the Respiro app inside uh, Propellerhead Reason. So let me get that going. Okay, so what I have in Reason here is I just have a single track with a Respiro plugin. And Respiro is a great wind synth, uh, specifically geared towards wind, synth wind synthesis and wind controller. A note on the sound, you're just hearing the sound from my PC speakers uh, going into the microphone. So the sound quality is not going to be um, all that great today. Uh, so don't make too many judgments about Respiro based on the sounds you're hearing. Uh, today's point is just to get uh, get it to work and see see what happens with the Mini connected to uh, USB Mini. All right, so let's just give a quick listen to one of the presets, the Mutated Duke. Okay, so you can see Respiro has a breath sensitivity curve there, and you can see uh, visually what's happening with your breath sensor. Um, so hopefully this is coming across in the video. It's very responsive, uh, very quick, really no issues with the breath sensitivity. And one thing I did find is I wanted to adjust the settings on the Mini itself and in Respiro. So I can adjust uh, the breath curve both... Um, coming out of the Mini, uh, and as well right here in Respiro. Uh, I left the breath curve at linear coming out of the Mini, but I did change my breath sensitivity uh, to number three. So I'm at a, I did have a, I think it's a little bit lower for a uh, standalone play last time. I'm setting that at uh, three. And then what I also wanted to do just for my personal preference was to change the curve inside Respiro. So instead of uh, straight linear, as is coming out of the Mini, I'm doing just a slight uh, updo. <laughs> uh, what you call that curve. Uh, but it basically gives me a, uh, a little bit smoother onset of the sound. And I have to blow a little bit harder to get to, uh, get to the upper, upper limit there. Still very controllable, and that's what feels natural to me. So that's what I did there. Um, now let's look at um, what's getting recorded. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record a MIDI clip here in Reason. So I just click the record button and just play a little bit. Let's see what we got. Now, what I was doing in the middle there was I was clicking my portamento on and off on the MIDI, or on the Mini. <laughs> um, I showed you last time I've got my um, OK button set up to be a portamento switch. 
So let's look at this MIDI clip here. Oops. All right, let's blow that up. Okay, so you can see here, what I've got recorded in this MIDI clip is I get the note on offs, of course. I've also got velocity. Um, so I didn't actually see any settings for that in the mini, but you are getting uh, some velocity support out of the mini. Of course, you see pitch bend. Uh, as I said last time, I've got pitch bend, um, motion control hook to pitch bend. So I, as I was um, tilting the horn up, um, that's where the pitch bend came from. And of course, you've got the breath control. So that is your breath sensor. Uh, now, noticeably absent here was anything about portamento. So I'm very curious about that. I did try some things, and I can't seem to get any portamento um, recorded in reason. I don't know if that is a fault of the MIDI implementation of the Mini or something else along the chain there, but I was not getting Portamento to particularly work with this setup. So that's something I have to come back to and figure out. But other than that, uh, hopefully you can see there is it, it works kind of the way you would expect. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to come back to Portamento. Uh, same thing for the, the vibrato section. So when I put the motion control for vibrato, I wasn't getting that through to the MIDI recording either. Uh, but other than those caveats, you do get uh, pitch bend and breath control, and of course the notes as you would expect. So success in that regard. Um, I think that's all we got to report today, so uh, catch you next time.